there was still one final big disagreement between the two houses over the fire safety bill. On Tuesday, it was rejected for a fourth time by the House of Lords. Peers voted once again to put into the bill a measure to ensure that leaseholders and tenants in England and Wales didn't have to meet the cost of fire safety work needed to avoid a repeat of the Grenfell Tower disaster. Their insistence on the point meant the bill had to go back to the Commons again, where the minister claimed the idea wouldn't help leaseholders. We have seen the key elements of this amendment time and time again. And this House has voted them down time and time again. Yet time and time again, peers and the opposition, I trust unintentionally, seem set on re-injecting uncertainty into the market which cannot help leaseholders. Well, although some Tories had previously rebelled on the point, this time the government won by a majority of 66, so it was off to the Lords for a final showdown. A Lib Dem tried one last time to get the change through, pressing the amendment to a vote for a fifth time. Those who have literally built this catastrophe walk away with their billions of profit. The government has a duty to protect its citizens. It is its prime duty. Yet here we are today with perhaps a million of our fellow citizens being thrown to the ravages of financial bankruptcy and the government washes its hands and looks the other way. But not enough peers supported Lady Pinnock, so her amendment fell and the fire safety bill finally passed without that exemption for leaseholders.